Bernie Sanders went on ABC's show this week with Martha Raddatz, and he was asked some deeply establishment questions. So let's watch, and then I'll explain to you guys why this line of questioning is so absurd. Clinton supporters have been focusing on you as a non-viable general election candidate, yeah. largely because you're a Democratic Socialist. Senator Claire McCaskill saying the Republicans won't touch him because they can't wait to run an ad with a hammer and sickle. Your reaction? <laughs> My reaction is two things. Look at every or virtually all of the national polls that have been done, which have Bernie Sanders running against Trump. Hillary Clinton running against Trump, we run significantly better than does Hillary Clinton. We're beating them by a wide, wider margin. Last NBC poll, I think, had us beating them by 15 points. In New Hampshire, we're doing even better than that. We're doing better than Hillary Clinton against Trump here in Iowa. Second of all, Democrats win when voter turnout is large. Republicans win when the American people are demoralized. Our campaign is exciting millions of people. We will have a large voter turnout. I think we can not only win the White House, but we can regain the Senate and win governor's chairs up and down throughout this country. Sen so I think what this campaign is about is who's exciting the American people. I think our campaign is, Martha. Senator Sanders, you said something to your supporters yesterday that caught my ear. You quoted with pride a Wall Street Journal, Journal article calling you a viable candidate, saying it appears that we are making Wall Street a little bit nervous, and that's a good thing. The article was yeah. quoting Blackstone CEO Steve Schwartzman, who said the markets are unsettled because of you. A slowdown in China huh. and geopolitical risks. You're laughing, but I want to know why is it a good thing that the markets are in turmoil? People have their well, pension all, funds in the market. Lots of middle class people have their 401ks invested in Martha, stock. It's not just Wall Martha, Street. The reason, Everybody's affected the reason by this. I am The reason that I am laughing is I fully admit to having a big ego, uh, like many other politicians. But the idea that Bernie Sanders' candidacy, because it has growing support all over this country, is unsettling world uh, markets, uh, is absolutely absurd. The point that I was making is we are getting the attention of Wall Street. Wall Street's greed and recklessness and illegal behavior drove this economy into the worst recession since the Great Depression. Millions of people lost their homes, their life savings, and their jobs. And yes, I believe that we have to break up the major financial institutions, we have to reestablish Glass-Steagall, and that we are now gaining the attention of Wall Street tells me that our campaign is doing very well. Look at the framing of those questions, because oftentimes I'll say something like, the establishment is against Bernie Sanders. People are like, oh, you mean? I don't see that. What are you talking about? It's subtle, and it's in stuff like the framings of the questions that they ask him, because... It, that it's undeniable that that's a right-wing pro-establishment framing. Again, I got no problem if you want to be tough on Bernie, but you're focused on policy substance. But the problem is they don't do that, and they can't do that. Why? Because once you get into policy substance, you realize he's representing the overwhelming majority of the American people, and his policies are totally coherent, and they make sense, and they're intelligent. So since they can't go after him in that way, what do they do? They do the bullshit framing that just makes no sense. So... They ask him right up, well, uh, I'm told by people in the establishment on the Democratic side who are pro-Hillary Clinton, by the way, uh, that, you know, you're unelectable because you're Democratic Socialist. Because you're Democratic Socialist. That's your question? Okay, the problem with that is, it, look at the poll. So they would cite a poll, hey, look, the poll that says that the American people would never vote for a, a socialist. So look at that conversation over. Yeah, but the American people would never vote for the first black president until they do, until they did. The guy's middle name was fucking Hussein. We were fighting a war against a guy named Saddam Hussein. They were like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to vote for that guy. So, you know, questions like that are kind of absurd to begin with, but uh, he is quite literally electable. If you look at the polls, he's beating Trump and all of the Republicans by a wider margin than Hillary Clinton. So if you're going to be objective... And you're going to ask Bernie Sanders that question. You got to ask Hillary Clinton that question. Nobody has ever asked Hillary Clinton once. Hey, you know, perhaps you're not electable. They never asked her ever when when she's doing worse against the Republican candidates, which means she is by definition less electable in a general election than Bernie Sanders. But they'll never ask her that. 
Never asked her that. No, it's just a given that Hillary Clinton is electable because that's what the establishment thinks. That's what they want. That's what they believe. Therefore, I'm not going to be like a journalist here and question orthodoxy with facts. No, I'm just going to buy into the bullshit framework that they're throwing at Bernie and say, aren't you unelectable, even though you're beating the Republican candidates by more than Hillary Clinton? And he's leading in some polls in Iowa and New Hampshire. Unelectable, my ass cheeks. Are you kidding me? This is a guy who was 40, 50 points back months ago. Now he's only 10 behind at a national level. He's surging on a level we've never seen anybody before. Perhaps you're unelectable, you know. You only gained fucking 40 points over the past few months. Don't you need to gain 48 before we can consider you electable? Shut the fuck up. And then, an even more absurd question after that. Why are you responsible for the market crashing? What? What the fuck are you saying? You're like, why are you laughing as if it's funny that the market is crashing because of you? He's like, no, no, no. I think Wall Street is scared of me, and we know because CEOs on Wall Street say, hey, we're scared of him, but I'm not responsible for the fucking markets crashing right now. Oh my god, imagine if it's a President Bernie Sanders, the stuff they're gonna blame on him that has nothing to do with him. <laughs> like, I, look, I, I'm telling you guys, and I've been saying for a while, I think there's gonna be another economic crash. There are just too many systemic problems, too many fundamental flaws in our economy. Whether it's the student loan debt crisis, whether it's reinflating uh, the, the mortgage bubble, there's so many issues, derivatives, unregulated market, we're guaranteed to have another crash. I think it's gonna happen. If Bernie Sanders gets in, it's still gonna happen. He can't change everything overnight or even over two years, right? So there's gonna be another crash. Let's say he gets elected. Everything will be blamed on him from day one. They're blaming him right now for the market going down when he ain't even in office. <laughs> They're like, you know, hey, why is it that you're responsible for that? He's like, I'm not. That's why I fucking was laughing at it. They assumed he was laughing at it because he wants people to, to be hurt economically. His whole campaign is about the opposite of that. His whole campaign is about looking out for the American people. And furthermore, the market is not a good indication of how the middle class in America is doing. The market is an indication of how the rich are doing. When you look at the breakdown as to who owns stocks, it's overwhelmingly the top 10% and more the top 1% of Americans. But see how they frame the question? The top 1% and 5% are, uh, you know, Blaming you already for the uh, downfall, the downturn of the market. Aren't they right? No! What the fuck kind of a question is that? They can't discuss real policy stuff, substance, because he's right on the substance. So just throw establishment horse shit at him. Guys, there was a march on Saturday. 35 different cities. Thousands of people came out to march for Bernie. Just for Bernie. There was a We Are Bernie uh, march. How much coverage did it get? <laughs> Bupkis. Almost non-existent, quote, nearly non-existent, they said in an article about this. No mainstream media coverage. They're trying to, to get him to lose, okay? They want him to lose. They do. They're part of the establishment. They rub elbows with Hillary Clinton, uh, you know, at the country club. They're against a guy like Bernie because he's for the American people. He's against the interests of just the elite. He'll represent you. He won't represent them. 